Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Tony George, DocSports.com. Going to talk about the late NBC game tonight as the visiting Packers take on the Eagles there in Philly and some uh, some questionable weather for that game that I think is going to affect that game. We're going to talk about that game. Be sure and get over to Docs. Hope you all had a good Thanksgiving and have returned home safely or travel safe if you're on your way home today. Uh, lots of food and friends and family, and I hope you all had a, a fulfilling uh, uh, weekend in uh, all that uh, Thanksgiving festivities. Um, hit and miss. Hit and miss over the holiday week. Win one day, lose one day, win one day, lose one day, blah, blah, blah. So kind of just uh, treading water. We're going to change that today. Uh, with some uh, solid NFL uh, action for you. A four-pack today with a seven-unit game of the month. A four-and-two run. We split We split one-and-one one on um, Thursday. And uh, yesterday in college football, after we got skunked on Friday, uh, yesterday we went uh, two-and-one on a three-pack and hit Kansas State over Kansas as our top play. Had South Carolina as a four-unit pick. Uh, and then we had a three-unit small play on Ohio State. And wow, just on Saturday, some brief comments. Oregon goes down. Clemson goes down. Now, yeah, I took South Carolina plus a 14 and a half, but I didn't think they are going to beat them. thought they'd give them a ball game because Clemson's way overrated. We've talked about that before. And then Michigan all over Ohio State without quorum at running back. Nebraska, my alma mater, upsets Iowa. Now they got a new head coach and Matt Rule. Hello. As, a, as an alum, I'm guardedly optimistic he might be able to at least get them to a bowl game in the next two years. Maybe. But some huge upsets. Uh, and a hell of a game last night between Washington and Washington State. One of the best games of the day, actually. Great, great football game. So some, uh, but some interesting action on Saturday to say the least. And uh, now, uh, now we move on to championship games and, of course, uh, bowl games right around the corner. We'll be working on that. Um, we'll tell you what's going on over at the website today. I already told you, uh, but let's talk about this game tonight. And on these Monday and Thursday games and singled out primetime games, a lot of time I don't take them. You know, mainly I do props on them. Uh, I like doing the props on them. We're being very successful at doing props and just leaving the game alone. I can win more money doing props than I can taking a chance on a primetime game where the line's all juiced up. You know, just, you know, and they're usually sharp lines, you know, or chalky like tonight. And by the way, six and a half points in the NFL is a lot of points. That's like 14 in college. The average margin of victory in the NFL over the last 10 years is 5.7 points. That's why I like teasers. That being said, the weather is going to play a role tonight. It's windy, rainy. I don't think the temperature is that bad, you know. And it's not like the Green Bay Packers are, you know, not used to adverse playing conditions, you know, being up in Lambeau. But... A lot of these games on Thursdays and, and Monday nights, and I don't have the Monday night game out tomorrow at all. I'll do prop bets on it again, and I'll give it to you for free tomorrow, but on video. But I, I, to me, Philadelphia is an enigma wrapped in a riddle. Are they the best team in the NFL when they were unbeaten? I didn't think they were. Are they an elite team in the NFL? They've proven over the last couple weeks they're really not. Not to be carrying a, a six-and-a-half-point number against Aaron Rodgers. Now, I know Green Bay's been a mess this year. They've been all over the map. But Green Bay is committed to the run this year, big time. And they really have no choice. Aaron Rodgers has got a broken thumb. Aaron Rodgers is depleted of serious vertical threat weapons as uh, this year more so than he's had in the past when he was very effective. They got a good one-two punch at running back with Jones and Dillon. Um, sets up play action for him. You know, I think the, he goes for home runs too much instead of Dinkin and Duncan, which he probably should do more of. That's play calling. 
more than anything else or target selection on Rodgers' part. And on the other side of the coin, you know, Philly is not real effective unless they got Hurts running all over the place. You know, much like, you know, how Seattle was successful all those years with Russell Wilson. It's not converting to Denver, but, you know, at the end of the day, I think this is too many points. But I think with a run-oriented attack to keep a pretty good offense of Philadelphia's off the field, although it didn't look very good against the Colts, I got to be honest with you, I think the under 46 might be in play, and I definitely think that brings points into play. You know, if I had a gun to my head, I'd take Green Bay plus a six and a half. But what I would do is what we do all the time with these games. Same game teaser, side and total. I'd take that total and tease it up to 52 and take the under. And I'd take Green Bay up to 12 and a half. That's what I would do. i put a hundy on it just because it's a free pick. I always put a hundy on my free picks. So I feel a little bit of sting if you feel a little bit of sting. This is not a game you unload the, you know, the 401k on by any stretch of the imagination. But I think Philadelphia's got a lot to prove to be considered an elite team, especially in their division where everybody's got a winning record and everybody's playing good. And maybe the Giants are falling from grace a little bit, but they gave Dallas all they wanted. Dallas is playing well. Washington. They're probably going to win today. They're playing well. Heineke's, you know, he's not putting up huge numbers, but they're getting wins because Rivera is a hell of a coach. Philadelphia's got their hands full tonight, in my opinion. You know, until proven otherwise, I haven't seen much out of them last couple of weeks that makes me think they can carry a, almost a touchdown number here against a hungry and desperate Green Bay team that's got some talent that probably has the better overall quarterback in the game. And in the NFL, that means something between me and you in a fence post. Doc Sports, player prop three pack today. Last five NFL cards, prop cards, all cashed. Plus 1260 to the good for a $100 player. Seven unit game of the month on a four pack. Double header in college basketball. We swept yesterday after getting skunked on Friday, but we swept yesterday. And we have ourselves an NBA pick today as well. Right over there at DocSports.com. Have a great Sunday. Back at you on Monday.